seen happen. That offensive line so experienced that they'll be in front of an inexperienced quarterback. Guys, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous about this time trial. You know, a, a 5K time trial, meh, 15 minutes of pain. 10K time trial, 33 minutes of pain. Half marathon time trial. Now we're talking about going to the pain locker a little bit. If you want to see how it unfolded with splits and stuff, go to Strava, connect with me on Strava down below. My profile's listed down below in the description of this video. I'd love to connect with you and uh, let's, you know, start running fast together. My strategy is to go out hard and hang on. Um, it's, you know, it's not a race, so I can take a few risks. And uh, stay tuned for later in the video. I'll break down my effort today and I'll also reveal a few of my other personal records. And I'd love to hear some of yours of what you've run and maybe a half marathon. So anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. But first, got to get to Washington Park in Denver, Colorado. Oh yeah, I am at 5,280 feet above sea level. So, you know, you know makes a little difference. Whew, let's get to the park. Oh man, oh man, it's gonna hurt. It's time. It's time for the pain. Bring on the pain locker. Oh man, guys. Half marathon time trial today in the Nike Vaporfly 4% fly nets, a distance that this shoe is actually made for. Uh, I've done a mile time trial. I've done a 5K, a 10K, ran 33 flat, 33 minutes flat basically for a 10K two weeks ago in this shoe uh, on a concrete path. And today I'm going to do the half marathon uh, in a park here, I'm in a park, and basically, if you do you remember the marathon, uh, Olympic marathon time trial when they did it in Central Park in New York, in New York City? Basically, this park kind of mimics that as far as it's not totally flat, it just has some slight rolling hills to it. It's really hard to find a flat 13 miles anywhere in any city, or and definitely in Denver. So, I think this is going to be the best option. It's about two and a half miles. Uh, the loop is about two and a half miles, maybe just a, a slightly under. So that means I'm going to go around, uh, I don't know, 12, to, uh, no, uh, five or six times. So it's exciting. I'm ready. It's going to hurt. Come along with me and uh, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Isn't this fun? Like just seeing what the shoe, and of course, I'll give you my thoughts on how the shoe performs in a longer distance effort. This will be the longest distance that I've run ever in this shoe. Cool. Let's go. Come on. All right, folks, filming with a GoPro 7, and I'm gonna carry the GoPro for part of it, not all of it. Believe it or not, carrying something in your hand, it does throw your, your arm swing off just a teeny tiny bit, even though this is a very lightweight camera. So I, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna carry it the whole way, and uh, I gotta go plant some water along the course because it's gonna get warm out here, and uh, you know, it's just me, so there's no, there's no aid stations in time trials. You just go for it, baby. All right, let's go. Here's a good spot. I'll put it up here.
I gotta take these warm arm warmers off. Way too hot out here. All right, I'm gonna put you away for a second. Come on. Excuse me. Today's keyword is PR. And question of the day, what is your half marathon PR? Comment below, where did you do it? When did you do it? Will you attempt another one? Oh, oh PR down below. I'll tell you my time in a minute here. Oh. kicked up those last two miles. Oh, that just made it nice and fun. Other than someone uh, taking my arm warmers, my neon green arm warmers are gone, man. Other than that, it was a great day. Holy guacamole. Oh, that was fun and hard and pain locker worthy. So I'll just have to get some new arm warmers. It was worth it. I'll lose those for that time. what happened today try to process have I even told you the final time I think I did you ready woo, for woo, it? if woo, I woo, haven't woo. you ready for it one oh, hour no, please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. one hour ten minutes and 57 seconds woo, 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 woo. so that's that is what we're talking about so I'm trying to process that I'm definitely a little surprised and uh, but what I don't have to process is what's about to be in my belly Hang on a sec, Sadie. Half barbecue, chicken, half cheese. Oh, barbecue chicken. Get in my belly. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where's the door? Not bad. Not bad. All right, guys, uh, before we dive into my thoughts on today's time trial, I want to zoom in literally to this shoe to show you the uh, just show you the wear and tear that's happening thus far, especially after a hard effort today on pavement for 13 miles. All right, so there's the close-up, a little breakdown happening on the outsole. That's okay, that's to be expected. Nothing major around the midsole, just like, I would say your general, um, your general abrasion on the on the midsole, and then the, the upper, like the knit upper, like absolutely no wear and tear. So very good, and um, I'll be interested again to see where this what this looks like at 100 miles. We're not there yet, but basically guys, that was fun. 
Oh, I was doing the math in my head as I was running. And listen, I, I today's tr time trial was 560 feet of vertical gain. The park that I did it in, it was a little hillier than I thought, but that's okay. It was a good challenge. I wish obviously like a flat, completely pancake course would have been faster, but um, it was hilly. And I think the biggest thing is that I like to respond to competition. And I think I do pretty well with that. And so I chose to do the time trial at Washington Park in Denver because I knew there would be a lot of bikers and joggers and just people out that I could kind of go go after. There were even a few cars that were like pulling in alongside me and I'd kind of pick it up a little bit to stick with them. So the combination of elevation, you know, a little hilly and not not having like real competition around me is very intriguing very intriguing for 2019 and what i'm hoping to do in the half marathon and marathon distance guys you're a lot of new subscribers i don't think i've said this yet i i've never run a road marathon i am an ultra runner who is coming back down so over the last three years i've been running ultra ultra races so 50ks um 50 milers and just long, long races that are hard. So I think I have the leg strength and the overall body strength to do a marathon, of course, but it's like now it's like, okay, that anaerobic development, which toward like the last mile and a half, I was like, okay, there's the burn. This is what I remember from collegiate cross country, like that deep lung burn. And it was a beautiful thing. Like if, if I was able to push through it for the most part, if you see my splits on Strava, like I slowly got, I got a little slower. I think my last mile was 532. I think I averaged 525s. And the final time was an hour, as I already mentioned, was an hour and 10 minutes and 57 seconds. So I'm excited. Thank you for watching. And I would, I'm, I'm fascinated to hear your thoughts on your PR times in the half marathon. Comment down below. And yes, the key word is PR today. Um, oh, one last thing, one last point. The technology of this shoe, because of my plantar fasciitis, which by the way, it was not horrendous today. I can feel it now, but it's not, it's not horrendous. And thank you for all of your comments. You guys are crushing it. Uh, in yesterday's vlog, especially about like ideas for taking care of the planter, and I basically agree with all of the comments. Like there, you guys get it, and I know you're suffering out there. And if you're currently suffering, I'm sorry. You know it's painful and it's annoying and it's oh, it's rough. It's rough. But the technology in the Nike Vaporfly 4% flying it, I was not able to fully use it because of my planter. Like. I didn't feel like I could push as hard as I wanted off of the carbon fiber plate um, that runs from the heel all the way to the toes. But like the design of the carbon fiber plate in the shoe is to alleviate some of the flexibility and the pushing off that you do with your toes as you're rolling to your next step. So because of that, I don't know, I bet it's just more encouraging news that maybe I can go even faster once my fasciitis is cleared up. Fair enough. You guys rock. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm, let's do this. I'm excited. I'm excited for 2019, and I'm excited for you being here. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. We will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. New Balance Beacons. New Balance Beacons tomorrow. Oh, can't wait. Can't wait.